Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel RF Design Basics. So in this video we are going to learn how to do single series stub matching. Basically we can do single stub matching in two ways. One is series that means placing the uh, stub in series with the load and another one is sunt. So far in our lectures we have seen the sunt connection which is shown here. So this is sunt connection because you can see the load impedance and the stub short circuited or open circuited stub is in parallel with the load at distance d. So if I put a stub which is in series with the load then that will be called as series stub. So this is the configuration of sunt stub. So we can make series stub something like this and uh, this load and stub has a gap of distance d that means stub need to be connected at distance d and stub is short circuited or open circuited length is l. So this connection is called series connection. So what is the basic difference between them? When we work on uh, sunt stub matching that time we are using y chart y chart of smith chart and when we work on series stub matching then we will be working on z chart or impedance chart here it is admittance chart that is why if you remember we used to convert this load into yl as the first step we used to convert this load into the yl so that step will not be involved in the series step and directly we can mark the load on a smith chart after that we can find 1 plus jx circle so that is another difference between series and chart here we call the same circle as 1 plus jx circle but in case of sunt we call them 1 plus jb circle. We will see in the smith chart which circle is 1 plus jx circle for z chart and which circle is 1 plus jb circle for y chart. So let us go to smith chart. So this is a smith chart which is imported in uh, GeoGebra geometry which is very useful and uh, I have already made one video on this. So if you want to know some basic of that how to use it you can go there or by watching this video itself you will learn that. So first of all I will add in I will take the load impedance. So let me take a load impedance and do the series stub matching. Let us consider the load impedance as 60 minus 70 j ohm. So I have taken a load which is already in the bottom side. So anything, it can be anything and the line impedance that is called characteristic impedance is 50 ohm. So the normalized load impedance will be 1.2 minus 1.4 j. Let's find out where is 1.2 minus 1.4 j. This negative sign says that it is in the bottom half of the Smith chart. So we can find out here. This is the bottom half and 1.2 resistance circle is this and 1.24 is here. So we can identify a point over here. So click on point and click on this to highlight this. If you want to zoom and check, yeah, it's completely fine. So this is our first step. Once we do it, we have to draw a circle passing through the center. So let us highlight the center also. So this is my center and now we will be drawing a circle. This circle is known as 
VSWR circle which is passing through the load point. Yes. So this is the circle. After that draw line segment which will be passing through the given load. So click on the center and make sure that it is passing through the point C which is your load point and draw it. After drawing this we need to draw lines where there is 1 plus jx circle. So let me highlight the 1 plus jx circle for you. So 1 plus jx circle is basically this. I will put this in a different color for your reference. So this is, I am putting in red color. So this highlighted red color circle is called 1 plus jx circle for the y chart uh, for the impedance chart and for admittance chart the same circle will be called as 1 plus jb circle. So we need to find out the cutting point of these two circles. One circle is one circle is your VSWR circle which I am showing as blue color and another one is red color. So the cutting point of these two circles are very important. I have to draw a line segment through those cutting points. Yes, so this is one of the cutting point. Then I can draw in other side as well. Yes, so these are the uh, geometry and uh, drawing you have to do before the solution. So first we have to draw a VSWR circle then line through the load impedance then uh, this 1 plus JX circle and VSWR circle cutting point need to be identified and after that we have to draw lines through those cutting points. Let us take this export this into the whiteboard and we will do the rest thing. So I have copied it in the whiteboard and we will be doing the remaining things. So let us see and write all the values. So this was our load point. So E is related to load point and what is the current value of this I think by zooming we can know so the current value of uh, wavelength here is 0 0.318 so this is wavelength scale outer scale so that value you can read 0 0.31 and it is 0 0.32 so 312, 314, 316, 318 so this value is 0 0.318 318 lambda this is 0 0.33 lambda I am writing all the values whatever we have and here we can see this value is 0. 17 lambda. So uh, I am drawing the first step. Since you are at the load, you need to reach any of the cutting point that will give you this solution. So if someone reach just near to this, that will be the first solution. And what will be the direction of movement? It will be always clockwise. So first movement it is just from uh, this point to this point so this much distance only it will move so the distance from the load to the stub so this point is the connection of first stub in this there is only one stub so uh, we can call this as a first solution for the single stub 
and uh, that value means distance will be 0 0.33 lambda minus 0 0.318 lambda so if you subtract how much you will get it is 0.33 minus 0.318 so the answer is 0 0.012 0 0.012 lambda is your distance I am doing the solution number one by taking this cutting point as soon as you reach there you need to read the value of impedance and what is the impedance value impedance value is 1 plus 1 1.3 if you read it carefully at this point cutting point the impedance value is 1 plus 1 1 minus 1.3 3j so the impedance value is 1 minus 1.3j to make the reactive part 0 I need to add 1.3j so this reactance will come from the stub that's why the stub reactance I'll call jx will be j 1.3 means x will be 1.3 so we'll be solving for this plus 1.3 and find out what will be the length of this stub so first of all find out the 1.3 point so this is 1.2 1.4 so this is 1.3 you need to draw a line from the center so i can take this scale and use this you can take a scale and draw a line which will pass through this you can also see in this whiteboard this angle is 77 degree and here at 1.3 this angle is 70 80 so it is between 70 to 80 approximately 77 or 76 degree so if it matches with that it will work perfectly right now draw the line yes so after drawing the line we have to just read the value of uh, the wavelengths 0 0.14 and 0 0.15 so 0 0.142 144 so I'll call this as 0 0.144 lambda remember this stub may be short circuit or open circuit and as you know that on impedance chart impedance chart z chart this side impedance is zero that means impedance zero means short circuit and right side will become open circuit in admittance chart it is just opposite so whatever value you get that value is nothing but length of the short circuit stuff if you want to calculate length of open circuit stuff you need to start from here go clockwise direction okay always move clockwise direction for single stub matching so if i move from 0 to 0 0.144 lambda the length will be 0 0.144 lambda only so l short circuited is 0 0.144 lambda if you want to calculate open circuit length just 0 0.25 will be added in that so let me write the short circuited length so length for the short circuited stub is 0 0.144 lambda and hence the length of open circuited stub will be 0 0.25 plus 0 0.144 lambda which is 0 0.394 lambda that was my first solution if you want to go for second solution you need to keep on moving keep on moving on this line constant VSWR line and find the another cutting point on the 1 plus JX circuit so the cutting point will be here and if you read this value it is 1 plus J1.3 below it was 1 minus J1.3 so here it will become 1 plus j1.3 and value I have already written 
so the distance will be distance is 0 0.17 is the final position minus the starting position was 0 0.318 lambda and if you subtract this this will be actually negative and the value of uh, negative length is minus 0 0.148 lambda and normally we don't have any negative length so whenever you get a negative value add lambda by 2 in that lambda by 2 in the sense 0 0.5 lambda so if you add 0 0.5 lambda you will get 0 0.3 5 to lambda. So the distance is 0 0.35 to lambda for the second solution. And what will be the short circuited stub length? For that again you need to follow the same procedure and what is that procedure? Just like 0 0.144 lambda we have found here by knowing the plus j1.3 in this case our impedance is 1 plus j1.3 so how much need to be added to get make the reactive part 0 minus j1.3 so this value is the value of uh, reactance which will be given by the stub so minus j1.3 can be found at this point and if you draw a line from the center you get the value which is equal to 0 0.356 so let us take that 0 0.356 as short circuited length as I told earlier whatever value you get that is nothing but short circuited length so 356 lambda is short circuited length and to find open circuited length since this is more than 0 0.25 lambda so you need to subtract or from the smith chart you can understand in this way you are going to calculate open circuit length means from open circuit you are going to start and end here so this position is 0 0.25 lambda and this is 0 0.356 lambda so open circuit will be this value minus 0 0.25 lambda for short circuit here it is 0 lambda so this value minus 0 lambda so this is nothing but short circuited length so open circuit length will be just 0 0.25 lambda less than this so we can subtract 0 0.25 lambda in this and it is equal to 0 0.106 lambda so these are the two solutions with short circuit and open circuit combination you can design the single stub matching for series stub i hope you understood the single series stub matching if you if it is helpful for you please like and subscribe this channel thank you